Hey my friends, I went to the Swat Woodturners show here in Waco, Texas weekend uh, before last I think it was. I've been so busy I don't know which way is up. But grabbed a few things I'd like to use for future projects. So I thought I'd take a minute and show them to you guys. Alrighty? My friends, what I've got here is a set of Fostner bits, and I do own a lot of Fostner bits, but my very small one like these, my 3 8 up to 1 inch, they have a very sharp shank. And these have a very nice 6 inch long shank on them. So I'm going to lay a little drawer out for them, and uh, these will be great for cutting into small wood turnings on the lathe. Nice, you can get very deep with them in a small hole whereas your chuck that they mount into down here is much larger so when you put a sharp bit in there you can't get very deep your chuck gets in the way with this six inch bit the chucks won't get in the way so this is where I got them I forget which vendor had them but they're made by planet it says here and according to them they're really good quality so we'll see Hello my friends, how are y'all doing today? My apologies for not being on the videos here so much lately. I think I've got about eight or nine of them I haven't finished for you. And I have to apologize for that. I have just been overloaded with work. I've missed a couple of vacations. I've been so busy. And uh, living here in Texas and our created border problem we have, uh, the situations have really weighing heavy on me lately and that's eating up a lot of my time and my motivation but I won't get into that if I start rambling I'll never shut up but I did have a whole lot of fun the other week I think it was last weekend up in Waco Texas at the SWAT Wood Turners show I had been a couple of times in years past but never really videoed it and I didn't video it this year either I did make a couple of shorts while I was there. I did take a lot of selfies. I met a lot of um, a few of the viewers I have, and hello to all y'all that did see me there. Um, it was a lot of fun. Saw a lot of things that I wanted to grab while they were there to use for future projects. Uh, some I needed for a couple of projects I had to have going on right now. And quite honestly, some I just wanted. <laughs> so anyway, I thought I'd take a minute and show y'all a few of the things that I picked up there and what I plan on doing with them. So let's get taking a look at it, my friends. And so good to be back here with you. These are scroll saw. Um, I'm going to call them chucks. I don't know what they call them. Yeah, they call them chucks. What do you know? Chuck heads. Made by Pegasus. And uh, they are very good replacement heads for your scroll saws mine is a delta as y'all probably know so i had to get the one made for delta which is also the exact same one that will fit on dewalt's i haven't used them yet so i can't swear by them but i'm told you can get a much much better grip on your smaller blades and as you can see by the size of those thumb turns there a lot easier to tighten your blades so I've got two of them here, and we're going to put them on our two scroll saws and see how they work for us, and I'll let y'all know. And when I was there, and y'all will have to forgive me, I meant the nicest gentleman who flew over from London to uh, to display, to do the turnings and show these products by Hempshine, Hempshire Sheen, and I had not used their wax yet. Would you focus, please? Right. And this particular one, this gloss finish wax, he was getting very good results with it. So I thought I would give it a try. And of course it says it's uh, food safe and toy safe. Uh, so it's probably a basis of Kenoba wax. I don't know if I've ever told y'all. But uh, Kenoba, not, Kenoba, 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 that Kenoba wax is 100% food safe. So let's see. I'm going to give it a try. 
I liked what he was doing with it. I also grabbed a little more Yorkshire grit while I was there. Love this stuff. And they had a good price on it too, 19 bucks, I think it was. Uh, yeah, $19.99. So, went and got it. <laughs> Hampshire Shine also. Sheen, Hampshire Sheen. You know, you know how I talk. I can't talk. It's the best kind of person to make videos, I guess, if you can't talk. <laughs> uh, anyway, the nice gentleman uh, was buffing out this particular brand of lacquer uh, like two or three minutes after he was spraying it. And that usually doesn't work too well. But it was working pretty good for him. So I grabbed a couple of cans and thought I would give it a try. Although I have to say, that's a very expensive can of spray lacquer. All right, DAF will run you about oh five to seven dollars a can. So, but anyway, that's the whole story of it. It was working good for him and buffing out quick. So I grabbed one and thought I would give it a try. And I'll let y'all know when I'm using it on a turning. And at the uh, Easy Wood Tools display, I hadn't seen these before. They have some beading cutters for cutting around beads. Uh, you can do them one at a time. I'm actually working on a little device where you can do them four at a time. But I'm not through with that yet. But I didn't have any of these, so I thought I'd pick them up. And they come in, there you go, they come in three-eighths. In uh, three sixteenths, quarter inch, and an eighth inch for cut, turning beads. They will mount right on to one of your standard small easy wood turning tools. I don't know how to call these things by models, but this is the sharp ones. They'll mount right on there, right onto these tips. Guys, what these are, a lot of uh, Wood turners are making pin blanks in three-quarter inch PVC nowadays. So they come out round instead of square when they're completely resin casting. And what these are are plugs that are made to fit onto the three-quarter inch PVC so that you can plug up the bottom of them. And uh, I grabbed the bag of them. What these are, my friend, are threaded brass rings. For putting a lid on a vessel and having threaded brass inserts for the threads and they're two piece in each, two in each pack and uh, I'll have to do a project to show you how to put them in and install them but it's very simple just uh, turn the hole the size and then glue them in and they come in three inch two inch uh, one and a half was no three three and a half two and one and a half right and I got those from stainless bottle stoppers they were there at the show and of course made in the USA here and they uh, they feel pretty hefty nice quality all right my friends I got these at Vince's wood and wonders here's their toll-free number makes it nice and easy what they are a small one inch uh, hook and loop sanding disc and they have them I think they had them from 60 grit all the way up to 800 and I got a couple of each I didn't have any this small um, that were made for mounting and I sure could see a use for them inside of small turnings and detail areas they go on the end of a shaft like this like I said hook and loop you can mount it in whatever type of tool you're using your little pneumatic tool your Dremel uh, electronic finishing tool, uh, end of a lathe, and one end of a fixed grinder, your cordless drill, just whatever you want to mount it in. And uh, work real great for the inside of little small turnings and things. So, thought I'd show them to you guys. Here's that number again. They were fairly inexpensive, guys, I forget. I want to say they were a couple of bucks a pack and they come 25 in a pack. They weren't that expensive at all, really. And just downright nice folks. And I got these at the show too, guys. These are also from stainless bottle stoppers. What they are are brass hammerheads. You've got your uh, your mounting bolt and trim ring. And your solid brass 
hammerhead this particular one is a 12 ounce I believe they also have a 6 ounce so I grabbed two of the 12 ounce ones while I was there and I have no intention of using them for their manufactured purpose I have a whole different thing in mind but you're gonna have to wait to the video to see that <laughs> all right guys these are they call them handle adapters but I call them for uh, mounting a handle in the end of a wood turning what they are is uh, what do you call I know they're aluminum uh, casted or anodized but is that what you call the coloring process anodized they have them in four different sizes quarter inch three eighths uh, five eighths and half inch the sizing referring to the size of tool that will mount in the end of them with the two allen set screws up with the size of the tool that will mount in the end of them with the two allen set screws and then of course this piece goes into your wood turning right here and they're nice pretty colors come in four different sizes so for a guy that likes to make a few tools I thought they'd be nice to have and they're uh, oh S Cindy Doze I'm so bad with names Here, better show you in case you're interested come on focus there you go and I'm sorry I don't have a phone number on here but I know you can look them up on the internet and they seem uh, very good quality so we're gonna use them up and of course my friends I've got a whole bunch of stickers all different kinds he wasn't there one of my buddy the guy from the kilted guy but I'm gonna put his up too Hampshire Sheen uh, I don't know where the Alaskan one told you a guy sent me a bunch of them look at this uh, oh god my gosh Sparrowcraft I know I got that at the show and of course Easy Woods Tim's Tools Craft Coat that came from the show too Oil Slick I think that's a finishing product if I'm not mistaken AZ Carbide they were selling some very nice carbide tips that work on the, uh, the uh, Easy Wood Tools plus several of the other brands sorry that was Bootsy and Mullet eat my dust oh a uh, very nice Mullet look this up guys this was very awesome I'm glad I pulled this out of here he has a small two inch dust collection system for attaching to a shop vac and uh, takes the dust right off of the top of the tool and boy does it it's nice it's a uh, it's one of those adjustable arm things I didn't make a shard of it while I was there but mullet it's a, a dust collection system made for a lathe that uh, hooks to a shop vac and of course it'll hook to a dust collector system too oops check him out Hey my friends, I hope you all find a few of those things useful. I sure did. Had a lot of fun there at the show. The show met a lot of wonderful people. And looking forward to going back again next year. Going to get to see everybody again. Um, again, and I apologize for not being out too much. Been trying to squeeze in some time to put out some shards so you all still know I'm living and kicking and breathing. And I apologize if you see the camera moving. Bootsy is running around here right now giving me a little fits but that's all good and dandy so got uh, a lot of videos I'm trying to get finished up for you I've got a few other ones uh, on my want to do list that I haven't got to start yet but I'm gonna get on it pretty soon so let me get back at it guys it is so good to see you so good to be here with you always a pleasure oh and by the way guys I have started a little, another little shark channel I wanted to tell you about. It's just got strictly sharks on it. I'm trying to remember what I called the darn thing because you know I'm no good. Oh, oh, oh. Um, Life Advice by Doug. 
<laughs> I'm serious. Life advice by Doug, a.k.a. the old guy. Gray hair. Um, you might have noticed I'm a little opinionated. And uh, so I thought I'd find a place where I could state a few of my opinions. And it's just a little advice I want to give out to the younger folks and to anybody that finds it helpful. So I want to, I'll try and put a link in one of these days. I promise I will. But I called the channel Life Advice by Doug, a.k.a. the old guy. Y'all see if you can find me there and give me a sub. I'd be pro honored, appreciated, and thrilled. All that good stuff. Because uh, the, the, although I don't like him that much, to be quite honest with you, um, I see a lot of things on a chart that I wish they had done a whole video on. And I don't really know why people do that, to be quite honest with you. Um, it's all good for uh, making one little point or for laughs or a joke or something like that. But, I mean, I've seen people build complete river tables and they put the whole video in a 60-second chart. And you can't learn very much like that. Now, if you're just entertained by watching them build it, that's fine, I guess. But if you want to know how to build it and maybe pick up a tip or two, that doesn't work so good. So when I say I don't like them too much, that's the reason why. But if I find something interesting that I think you all will enjoy, then of course I'll put it in a chart for you. And my friends, I wish I could reach out and shake everybody's hand and tell you hello. I honestly do. But uh, sh uh, give me a shout. Leave a comment. Hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, think about it. Think about it, okay? <laughs> Guys, y'all have fun. I got to finish up the day so I can get in the shop tomorrow. See you in a bit now. Bye.